here on the chemical equilibrium lab this week. So we are going to study the Le Chatelet's principle. And we are going to look at how stressors can affect reactions at equilibrium, and especially the changes in concentration effect will be studied in the experiment today. So if you turn to page 24, I'm going to go through the first experiment, which is the iron thiocyanate experiment. For this part, we have two reagents we are working with today. The first one is a solution of iron 3 chloride, which is in the small bottle. And I'm going to show you the color of iron 3 chloride, which you want to record in your lab name. So you can see the color of iron 3 chloride. Go ahead and record that in your lab name. And uh, then I'm going to show you the solution of ammonium thiocyanate in the larger bottle here. And here we go. That is a color of ammonium thiocyanate. So in this experiment, we are going to add a milliliter of each of ammonium thiocyanate as well as iron 3 chloride into a beaker that has about 50 milliliters of DI water. And that is exactly what I have here. In this beaker, I added 50 milliliters of DI water plus the two solutions. One is iron 3 chloride. I put a milliliter of that. And also I put a milliliter of ammonium thiocyanate. And I mixed it around and this is the color I obtained. Out of this solution, I added 10 milliliters of this solution into three test tubes. And I have my three test tubes here. I label them A, B, C. So those are the three test tubes, A, B, and C. Test tube A will act as our control experiment and we are going to work with test tubes B and test tube C. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add two milliliters of iron 3 chloride to test tube B. I have iron 3 chloride here. I'm going to take a small graduated cylinder and I'm going to measure two milliliters of that in here. We need a little more. And I'm going to add that to my test tube B, which is my second one. So let's do that. And we need to mix it around. Okay, ideally using a glass one. So then to my test tube C, I need to add two milliliters of ammonium thiocyanate, which I have in the larger bottle here that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to get two milliliters of ammonium thiocyanate. Imagine that you are doing the experiment in lab to get the best experience out of this. So I'm going to put that in test tube C. And you're going to mix them around, just you can swirl it a little bit. And then you're going to observe the color changes. And you can also use a glass rod, which I don't have it with me right now. So I'm going to show you the color changes. So look at our control experiment. And that is the original color that I had in the beaker. Okay, so that's the color. You should have recorded that by now. And you compare that to the test tube you added. I'm going to move this here. Test tube that you added your iron 3 chloride, which is test tube 3. You can see that this is a shade darker. And you want to use the correct terminology and call that a darker shade. Okay, whichever you base the first one on. And then the one that you added ammonium thiocyanate, you can see there is a slight difference in color. Obviously, it is darker than the control, the very first A test tube, but it's even a shade slightly darker than test tube B. So obviously, if you really think that B and C should have similar colors, but really we are seeing test tube C being the darkest of the three, which is the right answer. 
and that is because there is a higher contribution from the tyrosinate ion to the color of the iron tyrosinate complex. So what you need to do is record these three colors and you're going to really write down which way the equilibrium is shifting and which ions are the common ions. So in order to find out the common ions, you can see what you are adding. If you're adding iron three chloride, you have two ions there. You have iron three plus and chloride minus ions. If you're adding ammonium thiocyanate, you have ammonium ions and the thiocyanate minus ions. So each time, think about what you're adding and then decide what your common ion is and see where it goes on the equilibrium reaction, which is the number four that is on page 24 and see which side the equilibrium is sh shifting based on the Lake Chatelet's principle. So think in terms of a scale or a balance. If you add to the left side, equilibrium should shift to the right side. If you add to the right side, equilibrium should shift to the left side.